hottest T4s in the game and day 962 of playing this game what is my roster looking like i am talking about it all with omg and if you're ready for it my brother omg tell him what to do let's get hype hype it valley flying What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Flight here. I am back and I am joined as we are every single month looking at my roster by OMG Mobile Woo! Gamer. What is up, brother? How's it going, my guy? Woo! It, it is going. There's a lot that we got to discuss. It is going well. I hope you're doing well. But boom, this is this is the game right here. This is where we have uh, progressed uh, the roster to just slightly over 8 million and Oof. this is very important there was one here for Ooh. a long time this came on a win this came on a win too the oh. last one was a win so it, yes it's a real one yeah dude <laughs> something about getting MVP when you lose does not feel good no, man. it's it not never a real feels one good. Well, plus, you, plus also your alliance mates usually gave up and so you didn't really, nobody was pushing at some no, you're point. Like, you, you're like, oh, I got a bunch of defensive wins. Might as well push, see what happens. And that's that's how I got yeah. the first one. And then this one, I had a bunch of defensive wins as well. Uh, but that's what it is. Not too many changes here in Blitz, all dying rank. But yeah, I've been playing for a while. Let's take a look at the roster because I've been a, done a bunch of T4s this month. Let, let's start with okay. the new. Let's start Let's start with my favorite team right now. Now I'm, now I'm not saying they're the best team. But this is by far right. my favorite team to use right now. The Wave One Avengers. Yeah, yeah, love yeah, these yeah. guys. All right, yeah, okay. I, I, I know. I, I, li that's, I just like using that. Them. That's probably the one that's of the most interest to me. The there, just the massive amounts of health increase right there across the board for his passive yep. right there. So um, that's good. Um, I like that's it. Good, now, right. This is what I was thinking about as well. Not so much for when I'm doing it, but getting that extra sixty percent total speed after mm -hmm. the AI does this, because the AI always opens with Shield Toe, never opens with Inspire. Yeah. Getting 60% to have that Inspire come a little quicker, I was like, maybe, maybe it is worth it, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, I, mainly, I, mainly because I'm, of this. I'm still doing eight. Inspire when I play them manually myself on offense, like yeah. in Blitz or something like that. I do Inspire first. It just seems like he, he yeah. starts sucking out. Like, the block the block on that is amazing. And, but you, you use, and, you use um, them on defense, right? You don't use them yeah, on offense. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing so, is that 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 because the, the AI is going to do the shield throw. Yeah, and, and getting 60% and 60 percent, speed instead of 30% yeah. speed is pretty. So for you, defense, I think that's this might be worth it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a good one. I mean, uh, how many t how many T fours do you want to put into this team? Is I've, the question. I've put, I put one way back in the day. I put four, so five, five mm. total is what I do. There's no way, team. man. There's no way. I mean, I mean, the, it's fun. just not a fun. okay. Well, fun is always going to override everything, but <laughs> yeah. it, you know, it's they're fun. They are fun. fun. And they I heard a counter. I've seen I've seen some screenshots of them countering Black Order and Marauders with with. Ultron is the fifth or Thor is the fifth. So there, there's some value. I, I'm not sure about it yet. I haven't seen it too consistent, but I've, I've heard reports out there. Hulk, this is awesome. Passive right here. Speed. One thing he was mm. missing is speed. I like this one. Um, Thor, I have none, uh, not upgraded. Black Widow, this is from way back in the day. Okay. To kind of counter mm -hmm. uh, Brotherhood when Brotherhood was a thing. This is a new yep. one that I did for that assist with Hawkeye. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's actually a pretty important one out of the out of the passives, you know, aside from Captain. I actually really like that one there because then Hawkeye gets the 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 auto assist from Black Widow and she's going to cleanse with her attack. So one one positive effect. So that's good. That's a mini, very good. mini Black Bolt yo-yo right there. Yeah, it's mini version good. of it. <laughs> it's more important than the Hawkeye one. It's more important than uh it is the, the, the Thor one. I mean, I, the, the the Hulk is good for a different reason, and Captain's good for a different reason. I have but if to do. I had to do the Hulk. There's no question. I had to do the yeah. Hulk. I, I couldn't leave that one down. This, this one, one, this right one here, I did gives them a little more assist with Black Black Widow. So that's probably my least my probably my least interesting out of out of those four passives, in my opinion. Right there, the Hawkeye one. I I would agree, but I wanted to complete the team, see how they do, I'm and they're fun. They're fun. I'm not sold on the team, but it, it, I mean, the number of T4s it's going to take, you know, for me to get them up and running, probably at least for me another three T4s. And I got Zemo and stuff to do, man. I got to find Zemo. Yeah, you you have an abundance of training mats that uh, I, I got to start refreshing my energy a little bit more consistently because you have an abundance yeah, and I'm I, I short. That's what's, that's I, what's really hindering my roster right now. 
Well, well, how come, do you have any characters that you have not upgraded to seven stars? To seven stars? No, I've, like been you, spending, I've, I've been spending my gold just to try to get these Emma milestones. So yeah, nothing anymore. I've been just trying to spend okay. gold because I don't have the training mats. Like, I, what do I spend I, gold I, on? I, I'm not sure why I have more T, T4s. I mean, I wonder if it's because of soft launch, but this stuff couldn't be carried from that far away. You know what I mean? Like all the, but no, it's I've, the same I've, thing. I've, I've, it, goes in, it goes in waves for me. The, the training mat, so um, yeah, um I, I think I, it might just be refreshing so i just got to be more consistent with my refreshes and hopefully i, I can do, i'm able to upgrade I, my roster more i do refresh the 100s for ability energy and i go all the way up to the 200 so okay i'm spending a little bit more than most people and and that's fine i usually don't run a deficiency in cores unless i'm doing really poor you know it depends on where you yeah. place the arena whether or not you can do that or yeah. not pull that off yeah uh, um, projects. Emma Frost, obviously, <laughs> she's very low. I got very unlucky with red stars on her. Ugh, I wish I wish I got better, but uh, she should be coming to the store. So hopefully that did yeah. the uh, passive and uh, not the pass did the uh, special yeah. and the ultimate. Maybe down the road when uh, this when I focus right. a little more war defense, I'll do that one. So here's the here's the question. This is a question I asked uh, some people the other day. Yes. Where do you not use Emma? I don't, everywhere. Only I place she's to, as is war defense right now because she's 49,000 power. I'm right. one, she needs to be more oh, to be okay, usable in some other is, nodes. I'm, I'm using her right now every day and she's quite effective in Dark Dimension 3. I, second run, second run. I don't know if she's a first run priority, but she's very good in a second run dark in those global nodes. Very good. I use her in U7 every day single day almost my main raid team has emma i don't use her in arena but you could use her in arena if you don't have she's ebony mom black yeah. border you could use her there's this plenty of team comps out there uh with mr sinister and friends where you can run over black order if you if you get the right team comp together so and then and then of course blitz and war right so in pvp she's almost an auto ban in pvp and pvp is going to become a little bit more important coming up yes. so uh she is a High use, high value, right. and I also, I also believe she's going to have um, a quite a bit of. Uh, uh, she's not going to get burnt out by power creep because it's based off of her kit, and yeah. not a lot of her kit is going to. And then also, what's really scary is if you look at the health pool of Shuri versus Emma, it's 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 crazy. So let, I'll give you an example. I have both of both those characters at fourteen, and mm -hmm. I have five red stars on both, right? Uh -huh. But I have I have seven gold on shuri and i have five gold on emma uh-huh okay so shuri has 167,000 health how much do you think my emma has with two less two less gold stars just guess 150 240,000 oh oh my goodness there is some severe power creep going on in this game right now and emma is significantly better as far as health pool her health pool is monstrous so a 55 five emma is just way more durable inside of U7 and because she's got a significantly higher health pool than Shuri. And, and, you know, and then when she's in diamond form, of course, she's got passive healing. She hangs in U7. Absolutely. She's amazing. All right. I think you've convinced me. Once I'm done with my first Dark Dimension run, my plan was Thanos, Cull, yeah. and Venom. I think she's added to this list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's okay, added so to that list. Yeah, so when I finished my Dark Dimension run, because a lot of people ask me, who is your second run? It's like, okay, I finished off my Black Order. Uh, I finished off I finished off uh, Venom, just like you said, and then I finished Emma. I don't even think I've done anything else. Oh, I started working on Invisible Woman just because she's legendary, and I figured, well, mm. she's a legendary, but uh, that's all I've done. I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty content with her. Very happy with her, but I've got 5'5", five, five, and she'll be 5'6 okay. soon, so. Okay. Um, I did, I did this to you, gear 14. I had, I had, right. I had symbiote Spider-Man and carnage in, uh, the city lanes in dark dimension three. First two nodes. Fine. When I got to that second, that third node so, though, I, I need more than two characters. It's too oh, rough. Yeah. So I brought him up. Yeah. He, he, he takes mystic gear. Venom would be the preferred choice, but he takes bio gear and I'm kind of out yeah. of that. So he got brought up. So that, that was something I wasn't planning, but it just, it was just taking too you long to get through those. You nodes. shouldn't have a hard time with those three. Uh, he, he, he putting out those bleeds oh. kind of, is like, it helps that, out. You want, you want to hear what happened the day that I upgraded him? Went from under a million 
they upgraded him over five million damage on that node. Yeah. So it's well, a yeah. huge, huge difference. So just, yeah. just, just that he's, uh, just that he can heal up the whole team by doing his middle ability because the, you know all the negative effects go out and then that just you know triggers uh, Symbiote Spider Man's passive healing up Carnage and it's it's good. Plus you also need somebody to just um, be like. Fodder just body, to get just those body. two running right. Yeah. Just, just the body. Yeah. Once they once they get the characters below twenty five percent health and they're getting all the speed, they, I, they they can just take out Noah's. But before that point, it's 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 rough for them because they have such yeah. a high health pool in that uh, in Dark Dimension Three. I'm hoping with my three symbiotes, uh, Ghost Rider and Merc Lieutenant, that he should be able to one shot the last four nodes. I'm hoping I can. Definitely the first two. The 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 second the third one. I'm having trouble with it, but yeah, with that team, you should be fine. And then I haven't been in the last one yet, but uh, yeah, not, it, not too much else upgraded on my roster. Is there anything else you want to see before we move to save squads? Uh, well, I want to see your save squads beaten because uh, uh, that's a different animal altogether. You're a blitzer. And, yeah. uh, you know, and I, I actually highly interested in what, how you guys split those things up because it's a little bit different. All right. So I'm not sure what has changed since last month. Obviously the wave one Avengers has changed. But uh, Black Order, pretty much the same. I'm still using this. Now, uh, plan. I, Swarm Green Goblin is uh, a team that Tony well, Sigili suggested. I think that team, both of those characters are going to end up homeless. So yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Drax and Psylocke once that happens. Maybe just uh, keep Psylocke as a rotational uh, fifth for this uh, X-Men team. Mm -hmm. Because Beast, I don't have online either. Beast, I haven't really built up giving them love. So yeah, seems I mean, weird. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, X Men. You could just put your uh, five highest powered and put them on a team. But it looks like you're getting getting value out of her up there, and that's this fine is, this too. This is you really, know? really fun. Um, yeah, different night, especially especially in Blitz. It works very well. Well, well they, they, a lot she of the holes are covered. The, she fixes the heel block problem. Yeah, it does. And then Drax takes off some of the early heat, just so they could start to get some of these characters up to twenty five. Yeah. Awesome for and then, Blitz. And then then uh, Venom's passive will trigger, and they'll have defense up if he doesn't get pinged. So that's kind of good. <sighs> Yeah, this, this that's that's a fun team. This this one I've I've actually uh, today I've taken out uh, Wolverine, put in Ultron, and used that against Emma Rodders. Works very good. Okay. But this is this is a war offense team, war offense defense. I have not split this up yet. There are people that take off Thor, to use it on offense with Ultron here to counter Emma, maybe Black Order. I haven't been brave enough to take these guys off yet. Uh, what what reports are you hearing about as Guardians on offense now? And, and there's even reports of X Men on defense. What what are you, what what are you seeing in war? Uh, it's nothing yet, and it, the problem is is that I think it matters on what place in the game you are. Like so, a, a week ago there was the big buzz was defenders plus Ultron versus Emirators and things yeah. like that. I don't know if that works at top top self I've, level. I've, sc I've seen screenshots, but all of the screenshots have like crazy big punishers. I haven't seen yeah. a screenshot of that working yeah. without a um, with a mediocre punisher. My, okay, so here's this is the thing. I think war is in flux right now, and it's it's highly welcomed. I think there is a a lot of people were saying that war was very predictable and all cookie cutter teams. That is not the case right now. That there is <laughs> so many things going on with war right now. Avengers and, threw everything off, man. <laughs> well, and the the good thing about Avengers is that they 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 don't have war offense, war defense tags. They just have mm. war tags. Which yes. I think most people, I mean, I, some people want no tags at all, but I actually like the tags. We don't have to get into that conversation here now. But I think you can make a good case for eliminating the war offense and the war defense tags, or at least going forward, not having it specific yeah. w would be welcomed, in my opinion. That would be awesome for this team right here. My goodness. Even even with without their tags transferring for war offense, People are still having success with this on war offense. Yeah. And I don't know supposed why to they insist teams. on that. I don't know why they insist on that. But well, they, well, the trend seems to be going good with Wave Under Avengers getting war, not just war offense and defense. Same thing with Sinister Six. So hopefully we, we've seen enough of war defense and war offense teams. They're just war yeah. teams. Uh, I do think that I think that the tags are very important to the health of the game, and that's that's maybe another conversation for the day. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm a big I, fan, actually. Yeah, I mean, we we've seen the flip side in the uh, Star Wars game that yeah. you used to play. That how every, there's one team that dominates every single mode, so the tags do do give longevity to the game. Aim awesome and blitz. Uh, I gotta I, I I don't know where to use these guys without Ultron. So if I'm using Ultron on another team, this is a huge punch down that I'm doing with this aim team. Uh, mm -hmm. This this. Punch downs. Uh, actually, I have these guys on defense. 
Mm -hmm. You got to find a right uh, match on Blitz. Actually, there. Eh. I see that people get blindsided by that team sometimes because it's relatively fast. You have to use a fast team to counter it, maybe like Supernatural or something, but that if, team if, actually can do its thing. Vision, do if its vision thing. ability blocks the wrong person, you could totally yep. screw up a team, you know, but the or, AI... Or, or right. uh, like, or if you like power armor, good luck with that, man. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah, you need some luck because uh, he could he could take off him and him on yep. their opening turns can take out rescue and the whole battle is like weird yeah. after that. You got to be careful with that. Yeah. Uh, they are what they yeah. are. They they're, yeah. uh, they're uh, they were a meta war offense team that's that's victim of power creep falling off slowly but surely. Shield, they're still a uh, meta war D team, but they're falling. I don't even think they're in the top five of meta D teams anymore. I mean, the Brotherhood just runs over them easily. Yeah, so easily, even and we talked about this in your channel. Blob is on my Emirators on War D, and then Sabretooth goes in this spot, and Sabretooth even in this Brotherhood 2.0 still takes out Coulson. So, mm. yeah. I, I really want to try that because that's interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask around on that. That sounds yes, very fascinating. The results, the, 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 um, what is that he gives the. It's not a block. The deflect. The deflect. The deflect that yeah. he gives to uh, Strife, really, really uh, painful. Because Strife is the the key of that team. If you can't get around Strife, you're not doing anything to that team. If, so. I, if I had if I had more red stars on Strife, I would uh, take him to yeah, 14. <laughs> I, I might do that anyway. I, I got four. I, I actually thought of buying you the fifth for Strife. Um, just the, of most this. people are saying five, seven, green light Strife, um, or six, six. Ooh. That's, that's strong. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys are on war defense right now. I'm not Oof. sure what to do with these guys. So they're just going war defense. I don't, I don't even know if they've gotten any crazy wins yet or taking out any big teams. Well, so. the, you could always blind some. I mean, that's just a function of uh, Captain Marvel right there. Yeah. I mean, and then you got a little bit of trickiness with these guys. But yeah, it's, it's mainly Captain Marvel. Look at the, the mm -hmm. 50. Everybody's in their 50. She's in the 100. So yeah, she needs a lot more love. I wish I could pull better red stars on her, but... Uh, well, I'm not sure if know, this is how I have. No, this is not how I have been lined up because well, Blob, the, Blob the, the, is in that spot, and this is way, way totally different for war defense. Yeah, but. so I might, you know, the, when the when the the promotion, the silver promotion credit calendar ends, which is supposed to be 21 days long. I don't know how many more days of it, but they're supposed she's supposed to be added to the store. Uh -huh. And you know, um, I would highly recommend taking her to four four, and then you're going to get her to five four. I mean, yeah. she's at she's if is she worth 200 and. 200 promotion credits? I think so, but, you know, 50 for sure. Yeah, I, I, she needs some more red stars, definitely. Uh, placement is wrong. I, I had somebody placed here. I forget who, maybe uh, Hand Sentry, and I just okay. put her in a spot, so don't don't pay attention to placement here. Uh, There's I, a, I don't know what the worst. This... That's not the worst placement, actually, believe it or not. Um, yeah, she's, she's pretty strong, right? With there's, some, armor. there's some controversial placement discussions I've had about that, so anyways. Uh, I'm not sure what this team is right here, but Shuri and Killmonger are on Mercs on, uh, for yeah. my main team. I, I don't know what this team is, though. Uh, Supernatural yeah, is pretty good. I feel I feel bad for Black Panther because he's not a terrible character, but he's homeless mm. for me. And, and Shuri, I mean, uh, Shuri's amazing and, and Killmonger is amazing, but uh, Mr. T and uh, Koye, yeah, yeah. I mean, Mr. you know what I mean? Use them. Is that what, Grace Jones? I don't know. If you want to yeah, go back to the I don't 80s. know, man. <laughs> um, Supernatural, very good. They're, they're an important counter to the Mercs. And Mercs, mainly. <laughs> uh, Mercs. Here are the defenders. Oh, and my favorite yeah. team. I don't mm -hmm. recommend him. I mean, for Blitz, works out very well. Uh bunch of different spot people you could use in this spot. He just is, with, is without a home. And he has one of the higher collection powers without a home, so I just use him and in this spot. You don't but, run, you don't run Black Widow next to Hulk for the the stealth, the, just chopping up the counters. I I think I had them placed like this, and I never rearranged it, so I think I just okay. slotted people in. I, yeah, she was all the way on this side, and I think I had Hulk here and Trooper here or something, and then she was all the yeah. way on the other side. So I just didn't yeah. place it, but yeah, right. th that's probably a more optimal placement for these Avengers. Uh, this is power armor. This is where I have Ultron for Blitz on, well, just, on War Offense. He goes on a bunch of different teams depending on what well, the yeah. matchups are. Ultron's just carrying the team, so it doesn't really matter. This, uh, are you, this find, one, are yeah. you finding the, the crossbound, the crossbones rework? Or that doesn't, does that trigger only with Hydra? How does that, I don't, I didn't even look at I don't that. remember. I mean, they, I, I put this team in and go with full auto, so I'm not sure how the reworks are affecting them. But I'm looking yeah. forward to Zemo tonight to build another team. 
Mercs, this is who I use for Blitz. Uh, I use the best version with Shuri on Killmonger on this team mm -hmm. for War. Awesome, awesome team. I wish I had more investment in these guys. Was really unlucky in X-23's Red Star, so that kind of is hindering this team, but uh, this, I wish this. I wish I had a 350 or something X-Force to be so much easier. Sinister Six, they're going to get uh, reworked and blown up. Uh, where they're going to get Doc Ock and blown up and different combos when Electro comes in the game. And War D. I haven't built too much in them because you could punch up pretty big with the Inhumans. So I don't, I don't, I see a lot of little Hydras and, and at the top end, are you seeing some big Hydras or has nobody really um, built them as far as what you're seeing? Hydras is a weird team where like, I think they're effective at that 200 to 300 with minimal investment. I mean, it's basically annoying where, you know, what are you going to use spider verse or are you going to risk a power armor? Power armor is so inconsistent against then what? And then you're going to use an Inhumans and and I don't see that a four five hundred red skull that just guarantees that someone is going to allocate their inhumans to them. I, I yeah. it's you know what I mean. It's it's I think that um, what's going to happen with Zemo is hopefully Zemo runs through them. You know what I mean? Is is that'll I think be, what a lot of that'll be awesome because it's it's weird. You see a two hundred k Hydra team, and you know sometimes I see a two fifty, but my inhumans we scroll up they, with the bonuses they're like four hundred in war. So yeah, like, you're, I don't want to. I don't want to fight that little tiny no, Hydra team. So no, the, who, Hydra's who, a weird in a weird spot. Who, Hydra's a weird thing because uh, you know one of the possible solutions is in, is in humans, but that is a tricky yeah. matchup, and you don't want to do it if they have defense up, and you don't want to do it if you have defense down, and that's a good percentage of the rooms, and so even then. Uh, you know, there's always a, a, a random chance that that Red Skull will be assigned defense up randomly from, I think, scientist. I, there, it's just we really weird. I, 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 what do you use against a baby Red Skull? What your uh, monster in humans? No, nope. no. I, you know I, I use my I use three symbiotes and. Uh, it's, it's, even that seems like a huge waste, you know. It does so. seem like a waste, but I think I think that's what hopefully that uh, you know then we'll have an extra option with Zemo against them. That'll be that'll be awesome, and especially if you don't have to build up a team super huge because you're not facing super huge hydras. That'll that'll create some yeah good matchups. These are trash teams. I, I probably could put one of these guys on Avengers. I mean, Mantis had a good synergy with Hulk way back in the day. Maybe I could shift that and put Spider-Man on here. I don't know, but just this is trash. These guys are going to blown up once uh, Winter Soldier uh, and Zemo, all that becomes a team. Trash, trash, uh, trash. And then these are my other teams right here. Okay. For Ultimate 7. And this is, this is a team that I just put in so I could get some separation in DD3 with these guys. So this ah. is not a real team. This is just so I could get it set up correctly in DD3. That's it. All right, so that, that was my roster. Any any thoughts uh, other than spending more energy and cores on energy to refresh? Uh, how, how do you like it? How do you like it? Okay, okay, I only have one complaint about your roster is Emma. Emma, 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 Emma. Really, I like know. it's, I know. it's it, she is a, a top 10, maybe... Some people will fight you and say a top five character. She's somewhere up there in the she's, top five, top six characters. So uh, she's a big deal. She is a big, big deal. I agree with you. That's why she has a heart. She's been working. But my luck with her Red Stars has just been horrendous. So hopefully one day I'll pull a good one or uh, she'll come to the store and I'll just buy it. But I agree. I agree. But uh, that, that is my roster. Let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, hopefully this helps you do some different things with your roster. Or uh, let me know what you think I could do differently with mine. I'd make sure you go over to OMG channel. You can check out his roster that we just uh, reviewed. Uh, some similarities, but a lot of differences because you, you focus a little more on war than uh, Blitz. Right. So, uh, do you want to tell everybody where they could find you? Or I, I you can find me on the knows. interwebs. No, the interwebs. I, I no, my, I, I, of course, I'm on YouTube, but I've been having a lot of fun on Twitch. And so Mobile Gamer 365 Twitch, we do that at Server Reset, offer review every day. We have a blast, man. It's been so much fun. Every day. Check out his channel every evening. You guys can check me out every morning. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you click on the some of the links down below to support the channel. Uh, check me out on social media. I'm on Twitter. And then, uh, yeah, every morning on Twitch, guys. Hulk fist bump before you go, OMG. Where, where's that fist? Where's the Boom! fist? Boom! Boom! Smash! Dolly flying OMG out!